round shields, and what size do you want them to be? So you may have been wondering, I want myself a round shield, and there are a lot of sizes you can choose from, which one suits you best? Well, let's start with uh, the general idea of uh, why you would want a big shield or a smaller shield. A smaller shield is easier in a one-to-one -one, uh, dual like combat. It's easy to ma maneuver around your shield and bring the shield up and down. It's also very easy on, let's say you're on a campaign, you need to carry the shield uh, all the time, then a, sh a smaller shield, being lighter, is more comfortable. But then, if you're standing in a formation, you may want to have a bigger shield. Well, that's a bit of a no-brainer. Bigger shield, more coverage, and this way you can protect yourself and your buddies better. But in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, it's harder to really go around your own shield, making jabs with the shield because it's heavier, because it is bigger, is harder, and keeping it up. This is a very heavy shield, this one is 90 centimeters, the other one was 70. Well, keeping it up like this requires a lot of my strength. Also, the weight is, is farther away from your hand. And if you're holding it like this, only a small tap will make it go. So, you might think 90 centimeters, 70 centimeters then, you may want to go for an 80 centimeters one. This one I made for a friend of mine. And yes, this is, well, a lot lighter than a 90 centimeter one. The coverage is not as good, but it's, um, it's a good compromise between the two. But keep in mind, I myself am one meters, 80 centimeters. I don't know what it is in Barbarian. So uh, if you're, let's say, a smaller person, a woman from like one meter, 60 centimeters, then uh, I would recommend a 70 centimeter one because it'll cover a small person just as well as an 80 centimeters would cover me. Now, let's talk about the thickness of the shield. I, myself, always make my shields uh, 12 millimeters thick. The reason for it being um, I've had, uh, I have had instances of uh, dull spears going straight through the shield. So for my own safety and for uh, the longevity of the shield, I make them always 12 millimeters. And on round shields, I normally put two layers of linen at the front, just for more strength, more rigidity. Now, what I also want to point out is if you're having a big shield, again, the 90 centimeters one, this one covers me, a uh, 1 meter 80 centimeter person, like this. I'm holding it against me. This is how I will stand in a shield wall with my uh, weapon in front of me. Now, because it's so heavy, this movement is very slow. So, in that sense, if you're using a 70 centimeter one, look at this movement now. Much faster, I can cover my head easier, faster, and also my knee, which is also a prime target in a real battle. Of course, in the reenactment, we don't go for the knees. Depends on uh, which country you are uh, fighting in, but uh, normally speaking, we're not uh, the cheap bastards that go for the knees. But looking at the mobility of a lighter shield, it's not hard to imagine that uh, I know a person who claims to uh, 
have been standing in a shield wall with a 60 centimeter one, even smaller than this one. And uh, he held up uh, all the time. Everyone was uh, going for, uh, at him. And uh, he held his own with a 60 centimeter shield while the others uh, had larger shields. It's just if you know what you're doing, the mobility of the smaller shield will help you a lot. Now, that was all for today. I hope I helped you make your choice easier as to how big do I want my shield. I hope this helped. You could also go for a buckler, like a very small one, but um, I don't call it a shield, actually. Buckler is a buckler and a shield is 60 centimeters and above, in my opinion. The 70 centimeter one, I really like a lot in one-on-one uh, -on -one scenarios. And a 90 centimeter one is for when I'm fighting, uh, I'm training using uh, formation drills. I like it uh, a bit more, of course, because it's more coverage and I'm a big coward. So yeah, this was my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.